In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up your email using Go High Level. And I know that this can be extremely confusing for some of you guys, especially if you're just starting out. But this is going to be so crucial that you get this right, whether you want to set up your email for yourself and your own business, or whether you want to set this up for your clients and their business, you're going to want to make sure that you get this right. Now, especially if you're doing this for your clients, you're going to want to make sure that you do this right. Because with Go High Level, we can actually profit with every single email that our clients send out. So we're going to want to make sure that our clients are good to go, that their emails aren't landing in spam. And we're going to want our clients to send as many emails as possible through our platform. So in this video, I'm going to show you four ways you can set up your email with Go High Level. So now without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so the first way you can start sending emails with Go High Level is by using their default provider, which is going to be Lead Connector. And if you don't set up the other methods that I'm going to show you in this video, you're going to automatically be connected to Lead Connector. So if you're new to Go High Level, you first sign up to your account. This is what you're going to be on. So if you've ever sent an email connected to Lead Connector, this is what it will look like. It'll say via mg.msgsndr.net. And this is Go High Level's own Mailgun account. And they use this domain for anyone who signs up with Go High Level, where people can start sending out emails right away. Now, the only problem with this is there's going to be a chance that you're going to get deliverability issues. So your emails through Lead Connector might be marked as spam. And this is because literally everyone who signs up with Go High Level is going to be on this domain. And obviously, everyone's not going to be following the rules. People are going to be sending out a lot of spam and a lot of junk. And this is going to hurt the reputation of the domain. So let's just jump inside of Go High Level, and I'm going to show you what this looks like. All right, so in Go High Level, at the agency view, you just want to go to settings and then you're going to see where it says email services. And right when you click on this, you're going to be taken to this page right here. And then as you can see here, the lead connector email system is automatically connected because like I said before, this is going to be the default provider. Now, this is the first way that you and your clients can start sending out emails. But like I said before, there's going to be a lot of problems with this. As you can see here, if you just use Go High Level's lead connector system, you're going to possibly get deliverability problems, reputation damage, limit control, branding issues, and so much more. So instead of doing this, I'm not going to show you the second way you can set up your email system and this is going to be by setting up a general sending domain for your white label platform so if we take a look over here if we just use the lead connector system everyone who signs up with go high level will be sending from this domain but with this second way of setting up a general sending domain you're going to create your own domain like this how go high level has their own domain for all their go high level users but you're going to create one for your software platform and for all of your software users to share so if we go back and we come over here to where it says dedicated domain this is where we can set up a domain for all of our software users and this is the domain that every single software user that you have on your software will use so if we just click add domain this is where you can create your general domain for all of your clients and to create this domain you're pretty much going to do whatever you want dot your domain.com so you can do mail dot your domain.com as you can see here go high level has mg which stands for mailgun so for this example our domain is leadlife.com and we're just going to come over here and we're just going to keep this very simple we're just going to add an l and then dot leadlife.com and this is something that you guys can do as well you guys can just go ahead look at your domain and whatever the first letter of your domain is you can just add it right here and this will just help the domain look better and blend in a little more but you guys can really do whatever you want so now that we have a domain for our white label platform we can go ahead and click right here where it says add and verify once we do that this menu is going to pop up and we can go ahead and click on continue to do this automatically or if it doesn't let you do it automatically you can just come over here and click on add record manually and once you do that you're going to get a couple records that you have to add inside of your domain provider so my domain provider is cloudflare so i'm just going to go inside of cloudflare and add these records inside of my dns settings so i'm going to show you what that looks like now so here we are inside of cloudflare and all i did was click on my domain and then i went over here to where it says dns and then i clicked on records and this is where you're going to want to add those records so i'm just going to click right here where it says add record now we're just going to go back to go high level and the first record is going to be txt so if we come over here to type we're going to come over here till where we see txt for the name we're going to copy this right here paste that right here and then for the content we can go over here copy this value and paste this value right here. And then when we're done with that, we can go ahead and save this record. Now we can go ahead and add the second record. So again, it's gonna be a TXT record. So we're just gonna go over here, click on add record, go until we see where it says TXT, copy this, paste this right here for the name. And then for the content, we can go ahead and copy this value and then paste that right here and then click on save. And then the next record is going to be a C name. So if we go over here, click on add record, we're just gonna do C name and then we're gonna copy the host, paste that right here for the target, we're going to copy this value, come over here, paste that right here, and then we can just switch proxy status off. And then let's go ahead and save this record. Now let's go ahead and finish doing this. The next one is the MX record. Let's go over here, add record, click on MX, come over here, copy this paste and I think you guys get the point this might look a little confusing but it's really not and most likely if you have your domain through Cloudflare you can do this automatically so now I'm going to quickly do this last record this one again is going to be an MX record paste in that value copy this paste this right here 
and just like that we're gonna be good to go so now that we added all of these records inside of our domain provider we can go ahead and click on verify records and just like that if you added all of those records correctly they're gonna say verified and now we're gonna be good to go we can go back and now just like that we're gonna have a dedicated domain that our clients can use and that they can send emails through now the only downside with doing this with having all of your clients go off of one domain is again your clients are going to be sharing the same domain therefore they're going to be sharing the same reputation and you might have a client who doesn't know what they're doing and they're doing things that ruin their sending reputation well that's going to affect all of your clients as well because they're all going to be on this one domain so if you don't want to do this second way of setting up a general sending domain for all of your clients you can go ahead and create every single one of your clients their own subdomain so if we go back you can see right here our new general sending domain which is l.leadlife.com but now for this third method of setting up your clients with their own subdomain all you want to do is go inside of the sub account of your client so here I am inside of my client sub account and for this example the business I'm going to set this up with is called Bob's plumbing so if we go over here to the settings inside of their sub account and we go to where it says email services as you can see here their default provider is going to be l.leadlife.com that general dedicated domain that we set up earlier but let's say that we don't want Bob's plumbing to be connected with this domain because we don't want them to share the same domain that all of our clients are using we can go ahead and create them their own subdomain by coming over here and again this is going to be similar we just want to click on dedicated domain and then click on add domain and then for their own subdomain what you can do is just add the business name dot your domain dot com so I can do something like this Bob's plumbing dot lead life Dot com. So this is going to be the domain that Bob's Plumbing is going to use. And you can do this for each one of your clients. You can create them a subdomain that still goes off of the back of your own domain. So we can do client1.leadlife.com, client2.leadlife.com, client3.leadlife.com, and so on and so forth. Now the reason why you might want to do it this way instead of giving them their own subdomain is because it's just going to be extremely easy to set up the business owner like this by just creating them a subdomain off of your own domain. Because if your client wanted to set up their own domain, it's going to be very complicated for the business owner and it's also going to be hard for you to do this for your client because you're gonna need access to their domain provider and you're gonna to have to add all those records on their domain provider so instead of doing that you can just give them their own subdomain off of your domain where you can just go ahead click right here and you can just go ahead and add these records inside of your domain provider instead of doing it inside of theirs now for any reason if your client doesn't want to use a subdomain off of your main domain because every time they send emails it's going to show your domain and they just want their own well like I said before this is going to be a lot harder but if they're okay with doing this this is how you're going to do it so let's say that our client's domain is bobsplumbing.com again this is going to be the same exact way we set up our subdomain and all we want to do is come over here and we can do whatever we want we can do mail.bobsplumbing.com info.bobsplumbing.com or we can just add the first letter of their domain like we did with ours or you can pretty much do whatever your client wants and then you can just go ahead click on add and verify add those dns records inside of their domain provider and once you verify those records inside of their domain provider they're going to be good to go and they can use their own domain to send emails so guys to recap by default you're going to be connected with the lead connector email system and again the reason why you don't want to do this is because you don't want to share the same domain that literally every single person on go high level can use and then the second way you can do this is by creating a general sending domain so as you can see here our domain was l.leadlife.com and this is the domain that every single person who uses our white label software will use and then next you can create a subdomain off of your domain so your clients can go ahead and get their own individual domains and have their own reputation and they're not sharing the reputation with anyone else and this is what the domain will look like it'll be your client's name dot your domain dot com and then finally you can get your client their own individual subdomain so our example was b dot bobs plumbing dot com and this is going to be the best solution but it's also going to be the hardest one because you will need access to your client's domain provider records now if you guys still have any questions or need additional help I will go ahead and link this guide down below and this guide right here will give you a video and some instructions on how you can set everything up and it will also show you the best practices how to make make sure that your emails aren't landing in spam etc so go ahead and check this out down below and I recommend that you go through here just to make sure that you're an expert on this stuff so that's going to pretty much be it for the video guys now if you guys are new to go high level and you sign up with the link down below I do have an exclusive 30 day free trial link and if you sign up with that link down below not only will you get a 30 day free trial but you're also going to get access to additional bonuses and resources that I send out to all my affiliates including my snapshot vault which is a marketplace of a ton of premium snapshots for a Whole bunch of different types of niches and if you guys already have a go high level account you guys can go ahead and check out the snapshot vault down below as well and then finally guys if you got some value in this video i would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one